Yes, welcome to Well Watch. I'm the Big Fish. We're at Alexandra Park Friday night for an eight race program. First starts just after 10 minutes past six. First highlighted runner goes around in race number three in the form of Lou Baby. Uh, and basically, what was a sprint home last week, I thought it was okay. Three back on the inside. Horse hadn't raced for about three weeks, so I thought it was probably in need of the race. And just the way the race panned out, Escape Artist got away with it in front, two I see on its back. Horse from highlighting Stephen Reed's colours, Matty White just trying to angle between runners. Gap's not really there, and they sprinted 27 quarter and I just like the way he run through the line. Uh, he's not a bad horse. He went around the derby this horse, Lou Baby. He gets in there as a rating 46, equal highest horse in the race and he's won the second row so I don't mind him very much depending on what price. We're recording Thursday morning, no fixed odds out but I don't mind him. Matt White drives Main Danger McKendrick from Robert and Jenna Dunn's team. Had a trial at Franklin last week. Looked at trial quite nicely. Fresh up runner number 7, 9 and 7 race number 3. Let's go to race number 5 and a mare that's always performs well at Alexandra Park is Manhattan. Now she's around 454 this uh, breeder's stakes. I want to take you to her last start at Eddington Southern Mares Classic in front here. Uh, too good for them during Cup Week. The horse that's on its back is Dance Till Dawn. Of course, goes on to line up last Friday and dominate the mares again. She's just a good mare. She came to Auckland last week. She had a trial at Franklin, Manhattan, and I thought she trolled very well. David Butcher takes the drive for Bob, but uh, as I said, nine starts at Alexandra Park. Two wins, six places. Only missed one start in nine at the park. She's got good gait speed in a race that's got high in quality when you've got the likes of Artie's Express at $1.90 and Lady of the Light who's won a winning of her last two starts very impressively. But Manhattan, each way all day, certainly top two. 450, 240, top two in race number five. Let's go later to the program. To my value bet, goes around race number six. This should be the outsider of the field. No fixed odds record, but it's got no form. I want to take you to Auckland to a standing start last week for Cos I Can. Have a look at the horse that's in the circle there. Get, uh, swinging sideways, rearing, and basically throwing its chances away at the start. Now, it adds a considerable 50 to 70 metres to its handicap here. And they did run along. This race taken out by Mickey Shah. Catches them at the 1,000 metre mark. Tags on back of the field. Red cap. And then I just like the way it just runs through the line. Now, put a clock on. Run home in 55.4. Last mile, 156.8, cause I can. And a race, this, most of the race rivals are here. Um, Barks in this race, you can see Mickey Shan ducks up the inside. Artisan, um, it was a good field. He was beaten three lengths, didn't get a lot of luck. And I just thought the mobile won the second row. Again, should be at good odds. Race six, number nine, cause I can. No good thing. Need luck from the draw, but you should get the right price. Simply Sam's going OK. Bark will go forward. And of course, Hooray Henry was good enough to beat Copy That through the middle part of October. Let's have a look at the three highlighted for you on Whale Watch on Friday. Drop back horses, Lou Bay, because I think it falls into the right race is one of the highest rated in the field. Top two for Manhattan, certainly can win, but if you want to play it safe, race five, number two, uh, race five, number seven, Manhattan, top two. And the Valley Bets race six, number nine, Cos I Can. Gets the mobile, just needs luck, won the second row.